So in the last videos, um, in the last segment, I guess, what we did was uh, we took our crab apples and uh, we got them ready for us to do uh, make our crab apple paste right or crab apple jam if you want to think about it that way because that's the way we've been uh, treating it we, we were eating it last year right so i got uh, basically it ended up being we got two of these buckets right of crab apples and i've only cleaned one okay so what we're gonna do is this is the one that i cleaned let's check it out actually we don't want to put that on the counter let's see this guy, yeah. So this is the one we cleaned. Let's put the lid over here. So let me show you what this looks like. And this is what we spent, uh, you know, the last session uh, cleaning, right? I just got rid of the stems of a lot of these. Uh, well, I got rid of the stems. You know, some I could pull off. Majority of them I just ended up cutting. So just cut it down to a little bit right there, right? Uh, that way, when we cook this up, um, because the crab apples do break down, like when you heat them up, it, it's pretty interesting actually. I noticed the last year was uh, all of a sudden, they just start crumbling, right? Um, so what we do, we take that paste, I guess, and we have a, here, let me show you this. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, we have this thing So once everything is cooked up what I do I you know transfer it into this and we put this thing on and you know We put this over a pot or a jar and we just Twirl 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 and what it does is got Different um, Size sieves, right? So I believe no, we didn't use a thick one. I think we used, I don't know if we used the smallest one. This is the medium sized one. And then there's another one here. This is the smallest sieve. I don't think we used this one. This was too small, I think. Uh, but we do have to stop the seeds from going. So I'm gonna try the middle one first. I can't remember what we did last year. Um, that's the problem when you do things once a year, right? If you don't write it down, you tend to forget, right? So what we're gonna do is uh, this time that I make make it, or that, you know, I'm gonna write down exactly what it is that I did uh, because it worked out really well last time, and we should have done it, but we didn't. So we'll see. We'll see if we can repeat uh, what uh, what we did last year. Okay. So basically, what I have to do right now is wash these crab apples, right? So I'm just gonna let the water run on it. Okay. And um, while that's, you know, filling up, all I'm gonna do is fill it up and just shake it around a little. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do two pots. Uh, and I might, you know, depending how many crab apples I feel like, uh, you know, getting in there. I got the scale set up here, so we're gonna measure. And we're gonna use a ratio of uh, two to one. So whatever it ends up being, two units of crab apples to one unit of sugar. So, you know, I got the buckets. Uh, where we got the buckets? We got the buckets right there, right? So I'm gonna use those. I don't know how much those weigh. So whatever that is, I'm gonna, you know, measure it. And then the number we get, we're gonna multiply that's a total and we're gonna half that to get the sugar, right? So this water is almost filled up. That's really nice, actually. This is going to be heavy, I think. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to show it to you. Take a look at this. Right. So the crab apples are sort of floating up top. Right. I'm not going to tilt it too much because the water is there, right? So I'm just going to, you know, play with it a little bit and uh, let the crab apples wash. Okay, 
So we're going to let it soak a little bit. And the recipe is really simple. It's two to one ratio of crab apples to sugar, right? And then all I do for each one of these pots, if I remember correctly, we put in anywhere between one to two um, uh, squishes of lemon, um, lemons, <laughs> lemon juice, right? So I have my, uh, you know, little juicer thing here. So what I'm gonna do right now is um, basically uh, drain the crab apples, right? And then fill it up with water again. So, you know, get rid of, they were pretty clean because it recently rained a little bit. And, um, you know, we checked them when we were doing it. They just had a little bit of dust on them and stuff like this, right? So we're just gonna drain it, fill it up again, and then start weighing, doing our measurements, okay? So. the lid to hold back the crab apples so I can drain it completely of water. start uh, just doing our measurements and bright they look great and they're really really tart these ones uh, I'm gonna pop one and I'm not gonna talk for a few seconds or a minute or so actually let's do a half of one yeah this is one of the ones we cleaned up very tart very good water after that uh, so good so good and the scale thing I have is very hokey pokey right it's like it's not even leveled um, so I'm just gonna use this so it's approximate everything that I'm doing okay so Let's do this, and I have uh, you know a little sticky, little pen. So I'm going to write down what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Uh, so we're going to do a few measurements. Uh, so let's do. Uh, we'll do this pot first. I don't know what size this is. I don't know if pots say the size in the back of them or not. I don't want to show you the label. I don't care. Uh, yes, it does. 7.7 .7 liters, it says, right? So we're not going to fill up the whole thing. 
So 7.7 liters. I'm gonna do the weight wise. So one of these guys, about this much, is about a pound, okay? So that's about a pound. So I'm just gonna count how many of these I'm gonna put in each pot, okay? That's the way we're gonna do it, approximation, right? So there's one. So this is another pound. I just wait the second one so I can get a good visual for it. That way I have a good feel for what a pound is approximately gonna be. So that's two pounds, right? So all I'm gonna do, I don't need the, the scale anymore. So one, two. So all I'm doing is putting in ticks. Are these dark enough for you to see? You get the reflection. Two. So that's two pounds. Right, two tick marks. I'm gonna do now. We'll say that's three. That would be four, two more ticks. I'm just gonna put one more, make it five. So that's five, five in this one, okay. I'll show you how full it's getting. So check that out. So that took five pounds of crab apples. So I'm gonna put two and a half pounds of sugar in here. Okay, I'll see, I'll see what it looks like as well. I, I go by, by, by visual a lot as well. Let's put, see how many we can put in this one. bucket yeah and I'm just gonna drain this since these guys were on the bottom I'm just gonna give them another wash so 
So that's a little bit less than a pound, right? So I'm just going to grab like a handful from here and throw it here and that'll balance things out. Okay. Now we've got to throw the sugar in here. So there was five in each. Right, I'm gonna call this the black pot just in case I change the recipe on it, right? So, actually, let's do it like this. Let's use two different stickies for the two different pots and see where we, where we end up, right? So five pounds crab apple, right? Five pounds of crab apple. I I think you spell it like that, I'm not 100% sure. And then five pounds crab, apple, black. Okay. So the black pot, five pounds of crab apples. I'm gonna add uh, two and a half pounds of sugar to each one because the ratio is two to one. So 2.5 pounds sugar. Ooh. Let's see how much that looks like. Um, if it looks a little bit too much, I'm not gonna add that much. We'll kick it down. Um, and I just have another, you know, plastic container that I'm gonna use. I'm trying to reduce my use of plastic containers, but I gotta get a better scale because that thing, the glass would be too heavy for it, right? So, and the type of sugar I'm using is, uh, the type of sugar is cane sugar, okay? Organic uh, cane sugar. And organic cane sugar, um, it's really sweet. The sweetness factor is more. So I might actually use less sugar. I might do two. Uh, two pounds instead of two and a half. I'm gonna taste the sugar when I crack it open. The sugar can be sticky, so I'm just gonna cut this in the sink because I don't want sugar everywhere. This is, here, I poured this in here, let me show you. This is the cane sugar, and that's half a pound. And that seems a lot, <laughs> like a lot to me, so I'm gonna, you know, pour more. Maybe I'll take it to one and a half pounds, we'll see. little bit over one actually it was about one and a quarter so let's check this out and that's one and a half okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the black one one and a half pounds uh, of cane sugar and the other one, I'm gonna make it two, okay? So let's take this to there, okay? And now we're gonna do, since this thing was pretty full up at one and a half pounds, so I'm gonna do one pound at a time for the black pots or for the other pot. So let's check this out. So that's one pound, okay. Let's throw this in here. And 
seconds. Now that we've got an idea of how much that is. That should be around one pound, a little bit less. Oh yeah, it's way less. And that's another pound. So that ends up being two pounds of sugar. Now, I'm going to keep the sugar uh, sugar here still because uh, I'm going to taste it once it breaks down a little bit and see if it needs a little bit more sweetness or not. Okay. Let's leave this guy here. Hmm. Actually, I was going to taste the sugar to see how sweet it was, wasn't I? Let's check this out. got a smoky flavor to it mm, that's good that's enough sweetness hopefully anyway so what I'm gonna do now is now these pots uh, these stove tops we're getting used to uh, they're really strong after a certain temperature they kick up um, so they're pretty powerful so I'm gonna put these on low heat uh, this one I'm gonna well lowish I'm gonna put on level, actually you're supposed to kick it up and then bring it down. So I'm gonna put this on medium, right in the middle. So if it's going from, you know, a range of one to nine, I'm putting it at five. It says right in the middle basically, okay? And this one I'm gonna put, uh, it's on a single or a double. So I should, I should write this down first. So this one, the sugar was two pounds, and this one was 1.5 pounds. Sugar cane, sugar cane. And the black one was one and a half pounds, right? So this one, the single, yeah, let's do it single. And I'm gonna put this one in the middle as well. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna add a half a cup of water to each one. Okay, so we need half a cup. And I do approximate. Can you hear it? On the mid, on mid it's even doing that. Let me pour half a cup in there. That's a little bit more than half a cup. That's about three quarters of a cup. Okay. Let's leave a cup here. And um, what else I need to do is uh, cut up lemons and put lemons in there, right? Lemon juice. So let me grab a knife. And these guys are, you know, the little guys. They're not big lemons, right? <laughs> little guys. And the other one I didn't bring the other half over. About the same, right? If I do perspective, huge, right? About the same. So let's do them in this. Now, 
I don't like how strong this is going. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to put the lids on them for now. So strong. So I'm kicking this guy down to a four now. Okay. Four out of nine. If it starts off from, uh, goes from one to nine. Uh, I'm kicking it to a four. So what I gotta do is get rid of the seeds and this, because the seeds come out with the lemon, right? I don't want that guy. Let's do it from here. Let's check this out. It's got a lot of seeds. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, where is our little funnel thing? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use our cup. All right. So just use a funnel and the lemon juice. Easy. And then all I'm going to do is just push on this. powerful so I'm kicking it down to three now on this okay because I don't want anything to burn at the bottom of the pot um, if you ever made jam if you burn the bottom uh, it takes a lot of work to do to clean it right uh, jam is tricky so let's throw this in there okay. and we got to do the same thing now, I don't want to get rid of this. It's, it's, it'll be a waste because that you can use for tea or something. So I'm just going to save it. And put this guy back here. Let's cut another two lemons and do the same thing. more juice out of these looks like it anyway Gonna, 
you know, I'm saving the pulps. Because when I make tea, I can just put a little bit in there. Right. Delicious. We're done with that. And this one, we're gonna pour in this. Okay, now this guy's going crazy. So, let's switch this up. And what we're going to do is bring this out. No, we don't need this, we don't need this. And I keep the and I keep the lemon peels. I take jars of water and I just throw the lemons in there and I drink lemon water. If you've seen some of my videos, you'll see, uh, you know, I have sometimes it's just lemon uh, just sticking, sticking in them. Sometimes I take fresh squeeze, but if I do something like this, I just use these guys up. I just put these in the fridge and boop, 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 one at a time. Or sometimes I take jars and I have a couple of jars in the fridge. Maybe I'll show you. Uh, I'll take jars and put the, the lemons in them. Let me show you. Here, I'll cover up the label. But basically, take a jar put lemons in there, cut them up at the quarters, whatever size you want, and put in there and nice cold, fresh lemon water in the fridge. It's really delicious, actually. It makes me want to have some. So let's dump our water and have some And it tastes uh, lemony, and you also get uh, some of the, from what I understand anyway, some of the oils of the lemon is supposed to be good for you. Um, and usually lemons that I put in there, I can fill that up like two or three times and still use the same lemons. So, what I need to do, I need to just bring a plate because this is a spoon I'm going to be using. Uh, I need to mix these up a little bit okay so what i'm going to do is we're done with the scale we're going to put the scale away we're done with all this stuff so all we have to do now is let this thing cook and i'm going to let it cook for well, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep the temperature low. Um, this is the first time we're making, actually, no, I made a couple of quick plum jams and stuff here. Uh, I've been cooking here for a few months, but I haven't made anything large like this, like jam or uh, spread or anything. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on these. Uh, usually an hour, two hours, I'm gonna let it curcle, curcle on low heat, let it break down. And then when it's ready, I bring jars and I heat up the jars in the oven to get them at a nice hot temperature, same temperature as the applesauce or apple spread, <laughs> apple jam, right? That way the glass is sterilized and the temperature of the glass is gonna be about the same as the temperature of the, or hotter actually, hotter, not too hotter because they crack, but um, almost the same temperature as the apple spread, apple jam. And then when you put it in there, the glass doesn't crack and it's nice and hot, it sterilizes, and I put the lids on top, and they all seal when they start cooling, right? So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna constantly come and mix these up, and uh, we'll see where we end up, okay? We'll see where we go. Hopefully it tastes good. If it does, uh, I'll definitely, uh, well, this is gonna be a permanent recipe. So, so far, oh, I forgot to add the lemons on here, right? So I put two small lemon juices in each, right? two small lemon juice so two small lemons 
juices. Okay. And that's all. That's all this thing contains. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Hopefully it comes out delicious. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video.